Hi, my name is Jane Breskin Zalbin. I write and illustrate children's books. You might know me from some of my characters and my stories from a series I did like Benny, who's a bear, and another series with Pearl, who's a lamb, and Jansen, who's a little mouse and an artist. Today, I want to talk to you about two main characters, Mo and Mo, from my newest book, A Moon for Mo and Mo. Tell us about your character. I was shopping in Sahadi's, a large Middle Eastern grocery store in Brooklyn with my young granddaughter, Penny. I like to stock up on spices, teas, coffees, all sorts of foods from that store. A Muslim woman who was covered wearing a headscarf was online next to me at the checkout counter with her young son. Both children began to interact and that gave me an idea. And the book, A Moon for Mo and Mo, was born. It's about two different boys from different backgrounds who are mistaken for twins while their mothers are shopping for the holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Ramadan. The two holidays celebrate the new year that occur at the same time every 30 years. They become friends. It's a celebration of how we are more alike than different. What made you want to become a creator of books? I've always loved to draw since the moment I picked up a crayon at three years old. My mother took me for art lessons at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City to paint when I was five years old, and I have never stopped. In college, I was a painter, an etcher, and then I had a teacher who was runner-up for the Caldecott Medal, and he encouraged me to do children's books. As an author, my first efforts were poems for the second grade class newspaper, and then I went on to become an editor of the school newspaper by sixth grade. I've always loved to do both. I worked in publishing as an art director, taught in the School of Visual Arts college level in Manhattan, and I've done around 50 books, poems, short stories, cookbooks, young adult novels, and middle grade fiction. But mostly, I've written and illustrated picture books. That's my passion. Besides making large contemporary abstract works of modern art, if you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? If I found a whale in my bathtub and I was in it, I would definitely jump out immediately. Although part of me would like to swim with the whale in the sea. Wouldn't that be wonderful? An exciting moment was feeling a stingray swimming right next to me while I was snorkeling years ago in the water. And it felt like a silky peach. How would a whale feel? That's what being an author artist is about. It's putting yourself in another skin. Thank you.